Hello beautiful viewers. We're in my garden today because I um, I took some beautiful um, garlic mustard. This is it from the uh, a little part in the local woods and I dug it up and put it in some pots so that I will have a nice supply for myself in the future a nice clean supply for myself uh, because when you do gather things in nature you have to make sure the area that you're going to is not sprayed with any pesticides most places aren't but sometimes the parameters of some woods are and you also want to make sure <laughs> any doggies walking aren't gonna, aren't gonna um, have a call to nature on your dinner <laughs> so I do like to plant my own but I did gather a bunch the other day when I was out and I um, soaked them in a mason jar overnight for a couple days and we are gonna make some garlic mustard pesto so what I did was I have my leaves that I soak in a mason jar for a couple of days. Hi, little princess. Hi, Katerina. And then I squeeze them and I dry them on a towel, you know, because I don't want them to be too wet. And let me just rinse my hands off for a second. And I made a little batch earlier, just a test batch, because I've never made this before. I've been reading about it. I saw a Facebook friend of mine. She made some on Facebook. And I decided to make a chunky version so I can see the beautiful walnuts. And I had no idea it was going to be this delicious. It was so good. It is not bitter. I heard a lot of complaints online that people who make things with garlic mustard, that it's bitter. But I think the fact that I'm a little bit of a freak <laughs> about germs and, oh my God, the pandemic, the pandemic, <laughs> that I had it soaking in my fridge in these jars uh, for a couple days. And I did wash everything really thoroughly, you know? So, I know when I'm in my kitchen, I don't measure. I, um, if I, if I write recipes for a blog, I will do whatever I did that I said, oh my God, that's so delicious. I have to recreate it and find the actual measurements. And I will, um, recreate things and write down ingredients. I'll usually recreate them a couple of times because I can't tell if, um, so I, I, I already just made a batch, that batch I showed you right in here beforehand and um it came out so good i couldn't help it i couldn't help it share it on the video i didn't mean to make a video so then i'm just drizzling in my favorite kalamata olive oil and please don't be upset i don't measure you know you could always add more of something right i um you know, I just want to cover this, cover this with a little bit of oil. And what's so nice about this garlic mustard, it doesn't, it doesn't really have a mustardy flavor too much. It really tastes garlicky. It's really a, a, a subtle garlic taste. It's, and it's, it's so aromatic that, um, you know, when I like put a little tripod on here, please excuse me. I am also the camera person and um, I'm kind of just also kind of rushing through this because I have to teach a spiritual belly dance class after on Zoom. <laughs> so I just wanted to get this in before I eat it all because I know, you know, I'm going to eat it all if I don't make, if I don't make a video right now. And I just put some walnuts, I can add a little bit more oil. Make sure everything is covered so it doesn't get too crazy in there. And then I add um, 
this my favorite thing to add for like a, a really good comfort food uh, flavor is this nooch. It's nutritional yeast. I call it, a lot of people just call it nooch. And if you buy this um, beautiful yellow powder, <laughs> you have to buy a good brand like Bragg's or Red Star. Trader Joe's is really good because you want to get the ones that have the B12 in it. And um, this also has a ton of protein in it. And you'll put in some salt and pepper as well. And and you just put it in your high-speed blender. I have a bullet. I have a little tiny, a tiny blender here. And I'm gonna add the salt and pepper later when I taste it. But I just wanna get this mixed up and share this with you. Let's pretend we did that for a while <laughs> and this is what you get this beautiful pesto that um, you can put on some pasta I have some delicious pasta here already just finished and I want to share something with you about I don't like to use a colander I use a pot with a strainer built in and then it's just wonderful you know it's just wonderful I don't even have to strain anything rinse out another dish I don't want to have to have more work to do and um, so I just you know drain it um, I'll show you a little bit how I drain it and it's like that and it's so simple and I just put in some of my pasta and I, I top with my pesto. And by the way, this pesto, it, what's nice about these delicious mustard greens, and I talked all about the healing properties of the, of the garlic mustard, I'm sorry, the garlic mustard on my part one video where I made soup with it. Um, but when you when you have any dark greens and you just throw them into a pesto what's so nice is it that lasts like a, a long time in the refrigerator I think a month it never lasts I mean I don't know I, I won't have a chance to let it last a month but I hear it can last you know like a couple weeks to a month in the fridge depending what type of green you're adding whether it's spinach or parsley but it will last in the freezer for about three to six months and I freeze them right in these little jars all my pestos and it's just beautiful so anyway thank you for joining my holistic lifestyle channel bon appetit and I hope you too can learn the ways of being a living goddess that we can all aspire for a healthy planet healthy body healthy mind healthy emotions thank you